My name is Benjamin Faust, and I'm here to tell you the difference between macroeconomics and microeconomics. Let's pull apart uh, the word. We have macroeconomics and we have microeconomics. Macro and micro have different meanings. Macro means what? Big or small? Big, very good. Micro means small, very good. So let's take an example from another area of study. How about biology? There's macrobiology and microbiology. So I've drawn a picture of Tusco the elephant here and uh, Glubar, the single-celled organism. So who do you think represents macrobiology, Tusco or Glubar? If you said Tusco, you are correct because macro is to do with large things and we can see Tusco, we can touch him if he's friendly, we can ride him if he's in a circus and so Tusco is macrobiology. If you're studying elephants, you're studying macrobiology. What about glubar? Then glubar has to be microbiology. So it's small, we can't see him unless we get a microscope up and we're looking really close. And so macrobiology, large things, microbiology, small things. So when you relate it back to the economy, if you're talking about a country problem, like a country's GDP, or trade patterns between countries, or what the unemployment rate is doing, you're talking about macroeconomics. If you're talking about decisions that firms have to make, or businesses, or individuals, or specific markets, you're talking about microeconomics. There you go. My name is Benjamin Faust, and I love learning. I hope you do too, and if you enjoy learning about economics, like and subscribe for more content.